so I've had to do a part two, right? <laughs> Just to make sure I cover like the real basics. So, um, what can you manifest? Okay, because some people will tell you that you can't manifest certain things, and that's nonsense. Um, so you can manifest um, pretty much anything. Pretty much anything. Um, you can manifest like cars you can manifest like houses you can manifest like small things i like to do lots of small things because um what i used to have a lot of is my brain at one point would try to tell me like this is silly it's not real um <clears throat> now that's like your caveman mode and that's a lot of why the law of attraction doesn't work okay um so how did it get from the law of attraction to the law of assumption so i'll run through that uh, basically i found that certain things i couldn't manifest okay other people could manifest them and i couldn't and it didn't make sense to me why not okay <laughs> this is where your dominant assumptions come in okay so if your dominant assumption is that and, and these can be really simple things, like you might have just been told them as a kid. Um, if you've been told things like you've got to go to school, you've got to work really hard, you've got to go to university, you've got to work really hard at university, and then you've got to work really hard in your job, and then you've got to work hard, work hard, work hard, work hard. Do you see what I mean? So um, that could give you issues with, <laughs> um, if that become your dominant assumption, you could then find it very, very difficult to, say, open up a business and it be easier, make money easy, okay? Because your dominant belief is that you, it's hard, yeah? So, <laughs> um, it could be things like, I don't know, say you were bullied at school and people said things to you or they said that you wouldn't be something. Now, that can really push you the other way. And you can really dominantly tell yourself but if if that hasn't happened and it's still in the back of your head like i'm not good enough to do this i'm not good enough to do this it can affect you so it can also affect like your relationships your friendships all those kinds of things so <laughs> um this is how i got to the law of assumption okay so when i started the law of assumption what you do with the law of assumption is you work on those beliefs that are not favourable to you, okay? So, in particular for me, I kept having, like, narcissists turn up in my life. Um, anybody who knows me knows I was totally sick of them. I was totally sick of them appearing. And um, it was either that I change myself or allow that to keep manifesting in my life. Do you understand now? So, um, <laughs> basically, there was a couple of things I wanted to work on, which was one, that, and number two was, now, just so you, you're aware, um, narcissists aren't necessarily reflecting your thoughts, okay? They are actually narcissists. However, where you was when you attracted that person in is a, is a big part of it. Um, if you believe that you can't get things easily, if you think that money doesn't grow on trees, if you were bullied in school and you were told that you were rubbish, right, and that sits at the back of your head, it will affect all of your manifestations, right, okay. So when you do the law of assumption, you'll feel them because, like, if you do an affirmation that says, like, one that used to be difficult for me was, I love money and money loves me. Now, <laughs> it's why I tend to manifest free things as opposed to actual money but I've got to the stage of manifesting money now so I wasn't prepared to do any videos for anyone until I had overcome the things that were a problem for me so um, if you have a problem with any manifestation anything that you've been like working on that isn't working for you then you, know, you can drop me an inbox. Um, I said I would only do these videos for my friends because I kind of incorporate it in my business stuff. 
so um but by all means you can drop me an inbox and i will tell you what to work on now for me i found i had a lot more dominant beliefs that i perhaps wouldn't like um or wouldn't help me um than perhaps i had originally thought of <laughs> so i have ended up kind of rewiring my brain to a place where it's much easier to do those things and anyone who knows me knows that i've massively worked on this like for months um and and if there was anything you needed to change as a dominant belief um i can help you do that as well but i said i'd do a couple of videos for my friends but yeah you can manifest anything so you could say for example if you wanted to manifest a car right i would imagine myself driving that car and i would tell myself things like i love driving around in my new car it's ace well, the miles per gallon is flipping amazing right as if it is already done so your brain doesn't know the difference between what is in your reality like what is a visualization that you put there or you dominantly tell it or what is actually real so <laughs> the reason i also teach him like some of my modules the state what i actually teach is a state to sell from and i've always been doing that but it's very similar with manifestation so you switch into the state as if it's yours that's the whole point of visualizing and telling your brain that it already exists so your brain will then act as if you're that person and it's yours so yeah um i'm only going to put these like on my tiktok or my youtube now because i said i would only do like a couple for friends so i'll you know i'll tag people in it who i said i would like you know i would do videos and i would teach this stuff but um to because <laughs> um i had a coach for a bit um and but i think like my friends just wanted me to just tell them so that's fine that's fine i'm gonna put this on my youtube but i put it under a playlist of um manifestation for my friends sort of thing so um <laughs> if you've got any questions or you've been trying to manifest something that you have struggled with i can work it out with you like what what it is that um, you're having a problem with. Okay, bye.